Three point fix, practice problem two. Says, you are on course 137 per standard magnetic compass when you take the following bearings. Watch Hill Light at 051 degrees PSC, Montauk Point Light at 184 degrees PSC, Race Rock Light at 279 degrees PSC. What is your position? So first we need to correct all of these compass bearings to true bearings then we can plot them on the compass rows and we can transfer them to the chart and find our position. So first we need to correct all these. And we say we do a TVMDC, TVMDC, right? True, variation, magnetic, deviation, compass. We make a grid out of it. It's just a good way to keep them organized. Okay, we'll put the, we'll label the bearings up top. We'll put the correct information in here. And now what was our heading? Our heading was, our heading determines our deviation, right? Deviation is dependent on heading. And we had, we are on course, 137 PSC, 137 degrees PSC, which means our deviation off of our card is 137. So that's right in between 120 and 150. 135 is directly between. And we go from one east to one west. That means we're at zero. So our deviation is going to be zero. And with the deviation of zero, we have a variation 15 west. Make that more of a west. 15 west on our Block Island sound and approaches chart 13205. We always use 15 west variation for this purpose of passing a Coast Guard exams. So, number two. We're on course 37. Good, we got that. Which gave us our deviation. We filled in deviation. We filled in variation. And we record our bearings. Our bearings, Watch Hill Point Light, 051. Watch Hill Point Light, 051 degrees PSC. Now, Montauk Point Light, 184. Montauk Point Light, 184. 4 degrees PSC and race rock light 279 race rock light 279 279 degrees PSC we're going up we're gonna subtract west and let's do that I like to do these with a compass even though I can do them in my head I like to do them in my head but double check them with um with the calculator. 51 minus 15. 5, 1 minus 15 equals 36. 0, 3, 6 degrees. True. 184. Clear. 184 minus 15 equals 169 degrees. True. 169 degrees. True. Whoops. 279. Clear. 2. 7, 9 minus 15 west equals 264 degrees PSC. 264 degrees, excuse me, you heard me say PSC, I meant true. 264 true. Okay, now we have the true bearings of our, yeah, the true degrees of our bearing. So, let's plot these out. Again, we'll take the dividers right in the middle if so you're right in the middle and then like this rolly ball here and you can get it now we're over to degrees so we get 036 from watch hill point light right in the middle 033536 from watch hill point light it's right here so i get this on bump it up 036. I'm going to get these further down. 
there we go. Now what I'll do is I'll, I don't, I don't really know where this is gonna be, so I'm gonna look at the second one and estimate it. Montauk Point Light, 169. 169, it's like about 170, it's like this. From Montauk Point, it's gonna be right in here somewhere. There we go. Now, Montauk Point Light, 169. From the center, 170 minus 1169. And now, good. Walk it to Montauk Point. So I'm gonna miss that, so I'm gonna come down, over, up, 169. Whew, look at that. I didn't quite make it. I didn't quite estimate it. Right, I'm gonna draw this, carry that line out a little bit. Okay, now third one. Race Rock Light, 264, true. 264, from the center, we got 2, 30, 40, 50, 65, 64. From Race Rock Light. Race Rock Light is here. Okay, and then use this side, come down, bump them up, they're parallel. 264. Barely got it there. Oh, look at that. That is beautiful. That's money. Right there. We nailed it. Okay, so now I need to record the latitude and the longitude of this point. So I'm going to set this up over here. We have latitude. The latitude equals. The longitude equals. And then we're going to go through our answers. Set that up. So the latitude will go from the very the, where we cross this line to a meridian parallel excuse me parallels meridians okay see i'm almost there just this there i'm there and now i'm gonna go from 10 our latitude is 41, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15 point three. 41, 15 point three. 41, then we got 15 point three. Let's see the longitude. Okay, so from the, where we all met up. See, a sweep and arc. Try to get it nice and accurate. This is the problem set where students find out accuracy is very important. Very important when you start doing these questions. So we got 71, 71, 40, 71, 50, 51, 2, 3, 54 point 3. 71, 54 point 3. So we got 54.3. I'm only recording the last three digits because I know they're all in the right degrees. If they're not in the right degrees, we got issues. So we have, now this is how I make sense of determining the answer. A, B, C, D. And now we figure out how far off these are from the answers in number two. So the first one is 15.2. This is 0.1 away. Right, we got 15.3, there's 15.2. 15.1, 15.1, the next two. So these are all 0.2 away. And the next one is just 1500. It's 15.0, so we're 0.3. We add these to the difference in longitude, 54.3. First one is one away, we got 54.4, 0.1. which is point so it's 0 0.2 to 54, then it's 0 0.5 away. 54.9, it's 0.6 away. And 53.7, which is also 0.6 away. And now, let's check them out. 1.1 plus 0.1 is 0 0.2. 0 0.2 plus 0.5 is 0 0.7. 0 0.2 plus 0.6 is 0 0.8. And 0.3 plus 0.6 is 0.9. Which one? A. Seems to be the closest from our calculations. Let's check it. 
Three point fix, practice problem two, we're saying it's A. Three point fix, practice problem two, the answer says it's A. So that is the answer to three point fix, practice problem two. It's A, and we were point two away.